Best. And I've Tim is a guy I've known for a long, long time. And talked to him, talked to his corner men, and they said this is the best training camp that Tim has had since he's been an amateur. He's finally healthy. He's finally taking this serious. And that because Tim as an amateur was one of the hottest 205 pound fighters in the country, or 265 pound fighters in the country, and I feel like there were days where he could have knocked out a lot of guys in the UFC, and Tim said he took this fight because he knew it was a good, a big name, and he knew it was the guy who was going to stand there with him <laughs> in the center of the cage. I love this shirt that his core man's wearing. That is freaking amazing. <laughs> And we are having a great Saturday here <laughs> at IT Fight Series 33 as the Fat Boys in the cage. Tim Dunn. Down the front. Hey, no filming, lady. And his opponent, Jason oh. hey. the Rod. Yes, it looks like you're missing out on a great Saturday night there, David. Always have a, I wouldn't rather be anywhere than sitting next to you on watching this fight here at the IT <laughs> Fight Series. <laughs> Oh, and he comes out to the Rocky theme song. I love it. And Jason Riley oh, finally. He, he said, screw this. I'm running to the cage. I'm ready for this battle. I'm ready for my return. Both, both of these guys, I feel like, are in the best shape of their career. <laughs> the, both, I mean, ask Tim. This is the best shape. Finally healthy. But they're in the best positions in their career as well. And that's why I think this is going to be a fantastic fight. Jason Riley, the Strike Force veteran, faced former uh, UFC champion Tim Sylvia, stepped in there with Daniel Cormier with a broken nose to where he couldn't even train for the, you know the last week of his training camp. Finally has his life together. Finally said he's ready. Said I asked him, why did you get back in there? He said, because my divorce is finally over. <laughs> oh yes. Again, we had Jason Riley on Blue Rest MMA Live this past Tuesday. Which you can listen to Bluegrass MMA Live every Tuesday night on Blog Talk Radio. He was a character. I like listening to him. He's um, the first time I ever got to like really chat with him before. And I'm looking forward to this fight. You know, just having him on the show alone made me want to watch this fight. Right, and, and Tim is a guy, like I said, I've always been a fan of Tim. I've always been a fan of Jason, but Tim is one of those guys, underdog, where you never, ever underestimate the guy. No, never. Never underestimate him. And Tim comes out every fight looking to knock somebody out, and I love it. I love it. This is a pro fight. It is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Introducing first in the red corner. That is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. But, David, I don't think he's going to go three rounds. I don't think we need even one full round. No. Tim Batboy the fan. <laughs> the very pro Jason Riley crowd here is referee Todd Augusta. Gets them ready. Tim Dunn in the black and red. Jason Riley also in the black and red, but Jason Riley is the tall one. Tim is the fat one. <laughs> oh, nice Outside leg kick. Leg kick. Mm. Tim will throw some leg kicks here too. Uh, Tim in his last outing was actually caught by a few leg kicks that he had to, uh, he, he suffered a minor injury that required him to tap out. And uh, I see Jason immediately going for those outside leg kicks. And Tim will throw a lot of hands as well. His favorite combination is that 2-3, that straight right left hook. And he put James DeShong to sleep in his first amateur debut, or professional debut. Oh, he caught a knee. Right hand there. Flying knee from Jason Riley. And he has Tim Dunn backed up against the cage here. Looking for the takedown. Jason being very aggressive right now. 
super aggressive, and that's really the way to to approach Tim. You don't want Tim to be able to stand back and counter you. No, not at all. Because they can push you to sleep in a matter of a punch. And Jason, I feel, definitely has the advantage in wrestling, but Tim is a, a more well-rounded than he looks. Tim keeping that hand on the ground so that Jason Riley can't knee him to the head. And that knee was legal with Tim's hand off of the ground. Riley with the, the Muay Thai clinch here. Looking to beat up Tim on the inside. Shot to the body there from Tim Dunn. As the six foot six Jason Riley looking to get under Tim Dunn here. And Tim bloodied and smiles at him. Hands down in the center of the cage. Tim now stalking a little bit. Inside leg kick from Dunn. Riley looking for that overhand. Tim just eats a straight left. That's one of Tim's biggest weapons, I think, is his chin. He has a great chin. That little push kick to the knee there. Those are really more annoying than anything. Oh, yeah. He's hyper extending that knee. Riley bouncing around on the outside. Tim taking the center of the cage. Outside leg kick there from Riley Lands. You can see that's hurting Tim really bad. Yeah, he doesn't like that at all as he comes in with that big left hook. Tim bloodied up. Tim looking to try to check those leg kicks. Inside leg kick here from Tim. Riley throws a two punch combo. Tim still stalking. Riley looking to pick his shots on the outside. Right hand there from Jason Riley lands. Jab from Jason Riley. And Tim is not afraid of Jason Riley. As that right hand drop, dropped him there just briefly though, but Tim looks like he recovered quickly. Yeah, it kind of looked like he got pushed down, not, more, not much of a uh, knockdown. Jason now the one stalking Tim with his back against the cage. As they're right in front of our broadcast position, some 30 fighting on the inside. Riley lands a nasty uppercut. Now they're talking trash in the center of the cage. Gotta love this. Big knee there from Jason Riley. And Tim just eats that knee. Like it was nothing. Uppercut. He ate it like it was breakfast. Riley now has him up against the cage again, elbow. Tim pushes him away, looking for his distance. Jason's probably thinking, man, why is this guy <laughs> not going down? Riley misses with that right hand, and Tim follows with a combination. Uppercut from Riley lands. Knee from Tim Dunn. Ten seconds left to go here in the first round. This fantastic co-main event. These guys are swinging and putting on a show here for the fans. Wow, David, I would never have guessed this, this, bout, this bout to go past the first round to go five minutes. It is surprising. And I think it's pretty clear that Jason Riley won that round, but I think that the momentum may be a little bit on the side of Tim Dunn because he took a lot of shots there from Jason Riley, and Jason Riley has to be wondering what he has to do to put Tim Dunn down here in this fight. Absolutely. I think all those strikes, all that uh, aggression is going to wear on Jason, who might be a little gassed out. You know, this is his first fight in a few years, and he might not be used to it. You know, and he might be getting that uh, adrenaline, adrenaline drop here, and it might be slowing his pace down. We'll see how uh, he comes out in the second round, and if he does, in fact, uh, gas himself out, it will play huge favors for Tim 
coming into the uh, later rounds here. And Riley, I believe, has actually only been to a decision one time in his career, win or lose. Meanwhile, Tim Dunn has, has been to a few decisions. Definitely has a, a good amount of cardio for you know for a heavyweight. Oh, absolutely. And don't let his physique, uh, you know, distract you. So we're underway here in the second round of this heavyweight co-main event. Another leg kick lands from Tim Dunn on the inside. Dunn jumps in on that left hook. And that's what he's going to have to do because Riley's grabbing that tie clinch every time they get on the inside. Outside leg kick again from Riley. And Tim doesn't like those, but I feel at this point it's really a moot point of whether he likes them or not because he's eating them. And, and I think at this point he knows his leg's going to be sore tomorrow anyway, so oh, might as well take them. <laughs> And Riley honestly looks a little bit woozy here in the second round. Absolutely. And the pace has slowed considerably between these two big heavyweights, but I feel like both of them are just looking for their shots. Overhand right from oh. <laughs> spinning back kick there from Tim Dunn. As the big heavyweight shows off his agility. Minute down here in the second round. Jason's just uh, throwing those jabs right down the center. Dunn eating them every single time. Yeah, and Tim his, is bleeding pretty heavily out of his nose. Of course, that's not going to affect his vision at all, but it will affect his breathing. Yeah, I feel like both of these guys are breathing out of their mouth at this point. Left hook there lands from Tim Dunn. Outside leg kick again from Jason Riley. And that's going to be make it hard for Tim Dunn to really play on that left foot and land his right hand. Absolutely. I'm predicting if Jason lands five more outside kicks to the knee, nice. Tim Dunn, Tim Dunn's done. Nice combo there from Jason Riley and Dunn doing a good that's job. One. All right. And Tim does not like those leg kicks. No, he doesn't. Looked at his corner and shook his head. Oh, Tim Dunn needs the right. That's number two. Three more. Tim is really That's went three. Through. That might be it. That's it. And that is eight, ladies and gentlemen. Jason Riley with the TKO due to leg kicks. It looks like the uh, knee area, left knee of Tim Dunn is uh, a little bruised, a little swollen from my angle here. Oh yeah, I can start to see the uh, black and blue come Hell in. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about, Jay! Yeah, Moving up to 10 and seven, Jason Riley's first win. <laughs> Snaps a four fight losing streak. The big heavyweight, first, first win since 2010. When he TKO Tim Banks in the second round. And the crowd goes wild for the favorite, Jason Wiley. We're waiting on uh, the official announcement here from Rick Tom. We all know Jason Riley won. We just need to know the time of the second round now. It's nice to see Tim Dunn and uh, Jason talking it out inside the cage. Very, very, it's a good sign of, of sportsmanship that we all love to see. These, these two guys, you know, no hatred at all, just for the love of the sport. And this is what this is why I like this sport. It's why it's, it's it's better than so many others. They show respect afterwards. They don't just get inside it's, uh, get inside the cage and beat each other up and leave. All right, Rick Thomas, final announcement.
confused at all what to do with him. No, I wasn't confused. I told everybody. When Timmy said to this fight, no one will look at Tim. I believe he can't fight. Tim had 11 to 2 in his record. And I believe you all just let him win you by knockout. That doesn't happen if you don't know what you're doing. I had a lot of respect for that man. What a class.